Hey there everyone, I've got our first spreadsheet update of OTP22 today. I have added left field to the spreadsheet. I'm going to say here that not all of the numbers make total sense to me. I am particularly questioning the range pivots, which since error and arm basically amount to nothing right now, uh, that's going to be pretty big. And I'm also running a little bit low with the values. It looks like, for whatever reason, teams were scoring more runs in these simulations so i'm going to be looking into this i still feel confident enough especially in the relative values that it's going to uh, give you a good idea of what you're looking at and of course you can just adjust this war value uh, so for example you'd mentally add 0.35 to it or whatever to give you a base for what you're going off so if we were to adjust all of these ratings to 200 range error and arm then you would have plus 0.35 to this, which would give you about 2.1 wins value for having a 200 left field uh, guy. Now, while left field is definitely not ranking out very well, it's more important than first base, but it is about on par with that. Uh, it, there is value in left field defense. It's obviously better to have a better fielder, but at this point, I'm willing to say that left field is probably the second most offense heavy position you're going to look at other than, well, third, I guess, uh, behind DH as well, other than first, where you need to find a good hitter to prioritize at this position rather than defense. This is a suspicion I had before, but I'm pretty confident in it now that I've run these regressions. Something I will note, though, is that if you go below your uh, 100 average defense, you start to see a pretty heavy drop off right here in this 80 to 100 range in terms of performance. So whatever you can, you want to make sure you have at least an average range fielder in left, but it's not going to kill you to have somebody lower. You'll be fine pretty much no matter what you run. And going above that is only going to have marginally improved returns. So that's something you're going to want to keep an eye on as well. And truly elite fielding in left field does not appear to really have any effect. Right now I have air literally doing nothing like some of the more or less noticeable ratings such as third base turn double plays. There is such a small impact that I can't really measure. It is there. I can tell you that error has a small microscopic impact on defense. I just don't have enough uh, accurate data to measure. It's kind of like how I don't have enough to measure anything at first base, even though we know that arm uh, or we know arm and turn double plays isn't making much difference, but range and error are. With arm, I have enough to kind of say about how much of a difference it's making. It's very small, but it's there. Uh, it's going to be a little more important than air, apparently, for left field. But really, I'm still not super confident in how I have arm weighted. It was a very relatively small number. So I'm going to be taking another look at these at some point in the future, trying to get larger sample sizes of more accurate data. Anyways, in the meantime, this is pretty accurate. You should be able to use this now in your spreadsheet to measure left fielders in your base game, perfect team, whatever, get an idea of what left field defense is going to look like, fiddle around with these, and of course, just do whatever you want with this spreadsheet. I hope this is helpful to you guys. I will post the link in the description, and I'll see you guys on the next update.